Good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing well this morning. Thank you very, very much for tuning in, being part of our Wednesday Wisdom Devotional. I know that you are extremely busy uh, getting ready for school, getting ready for work, or maybe even on your way to work and just listening in your car. Either way, thank you for tuning in. We've been going from Proverbs 30 and verses 24 through 28, looking at, as King Adur, Agur says, four things on earth that are small, but that are exceedingly wise. Two weeks ago, we talked about the lizard and how uh, he stands as the symbol of things that don't make sense, that something so small that I can hold in, in the palms of my hands can be found in the palaces of kings. And how when things in my life don't make sense, uh, that that is when I, more than anything, walk by faith and not by sight to trust in God and to trust that he knows what he's doing and that all things will work together for good. We talked about the locus, uh, how it is so important to cooperate, to be part of, of something. Uh, the locusts have no king and yet they're able to march in rank and that is because they cooperate with each other. The purpose is bigger than their ego, it's bigger than their pride. And so we talked about us, all of us, developing the discipline and the skill of cooperation, whether it's cooperating with people at work or cooperating with our spouse at home, uh, to bring about the purpose of unity and harmony and peace and, uh, and other types of things. This morning, we want to look at the animal that comes from verse 26. This is what King Gagor says. The rock badgers are people not mighty, yet they make their homes in the cliffs. Now, we can understand what a lizard is, and we know what locusts are. Well, what in the world is a rock badger? Uh, if you're going from a King James Version, you'd read that the coney. Uh, it makes its homes in the cliffs, that it's a people not mighty, not strong. Either way, we don't really know what they are uh, until you Google it. Of course, at Google, you find all your answers, right? When you Google this and you look at the coney, you look at the rock badger, it's really an animal about the size of a small rabbit. So a small rabbit that you would see in your front yard or like the one we have here at the church building that, that greets me every morning. You think of something that small, something that insignificant, that would go away uh, from us at the first uh, si sound of something bigger than itself. And that's what King Agor says. It says there's two things that the rock badger knows. One, it knows about itself. It knows that it's weak. It knows that it's not strong. Uh, it knows due to its size, uh, due to its lack of, uh, of ability to defend itself, it knows that it has an inherent weakness within it. Uh, it knows there's a lot of things that it cannot do. You see, a lot of us struggle with weaknesses. Some of us are physically weak, others of us going through spiritual weakness, still others of us having emotional weakness because we're, we've lost a loved one, still others of us who are dealing with other types of things, and our weaknesses remind us of how frail we are. Our weaknesses tend to get in the way, and we get down, and we get sad. Uh, we, uh, we struggle with those weaknesses. It's okay to know that you're weak. Because here's what the rock badger teaches us. Even though it knows that it's weak, the rock badger also knows where its security and its safety is found. You see, the rock badger, because it knows that it's weak, makes its home in the cliffs. It makes its home in the rocks. That's where its safety and security are found. The rock badger knows where to go. And to find its safety, it knows where to go to find its security for itself, for its family. The rock badger has this wisdom within itself to understand, I know that I'm weak here, so I'm going to go here to find the strength and the safety and the security that I need. We're the same way. And I guess that's the question. Do we, because of our weakness, knowing that we can't handle all kinds of things, do we know where our safety is? is found? Do we know where our security is found? You see, if you were to read the Psalms, specifically the Psalms of David, more than anything else, David describes God as a rock. He describes God as a, as a strong tower, as a cliff. He describes God in those metaphors to get us to see that even though we are weak in our life, God brings stability. Listen real quick to a Psalm of David in Psalm uh, 18. In verse 2, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my rock, 
in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. The rock badger reminds us of our weakness, but it doesn't say to dwell on the weakness. Instead, allow that weakness to drive you to the place to where you can find your safety and to, what, to where you can find your security. And that, my friends, is the devotional for this morning, that I hope that in all of your weakness, whatever it is that you're struggling with in your life, that whatever it is that you're dealing with in your career, uh, in your family, whatever it is that's going on that right now is a weakness, I hope that it will drive you to the rock that is our God. Because if it will, you will find your safety, you will find your security, you will find the stability that you so desperately desire and pray for and have asked for. So go to our God, acknowledge your weakness, and go find your safety and security in our God, who is our rock, who is our fortress, who is our salvation. I hope that you have benefited from this uh, Wednesday Wisdom devotional, if you have, I hope that you will share it uh, with your friends and your family, uh, that you'll post it on your wall and that you will share it with them. Uh, thank you so very much for joining us this morning. Uh, we hope that if you have an opportunity that you'll come by and visit us uh, at the Raleigh Church of Christ. We're at 911 Behringer Drive. Uh, we meet tonight, Wednesday night, at 7 o'clock for Bible class or midweek Bible study. If you're unable to join us tonight, we would love to have you on Sunday morning, 930 for our Sunday school classes and 1030 for our morning worship. I hope that you have a great day and I hope that you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.